The following video will demonstrate the steps to detect and avoid interference using Axient and Wireless Workbench 6. In this video, we will configure an AXT400 receiver to alert you to interference, automatically switch to a clean frequency, and manually switch to a clean frequency. In the Receiver's Properties window, we will define how the receiver and wireless workbench will respond to interference. To begin, right-click and select Properties, then select the Settings arrow. Within the Radio tab, use the Avoidance control to choose the desired interference mode. If you select Off or Detect Only, the application will not display interference alerts. If you select Prompt, the application will display an alert that allows you to select a new frequency or ignore the alert. You will see an example of this later in the video. If you select Automatic and are using a Spectrum Manager, the system will automatically switch to a clear and compatible frequency. We will select Prompt. In this example, we're using a Spectrum Manager and we've performed frequency coordination. When the receiver detects interference, an interference alert is displayed. This window shows you which channels are experiencing interference and provides tools to switch to a clear, compatible frequency. To switch to the best available backup frequency provided by the Spectrum Manager, select Switch and the receiver tunes to the suggested frequency. This is recommended if you are using a Spectrum Manager. If you do not want to switch frequencies, select Ignore. Because we're using a Spectrum Manager, we'll select Switch. Next, we will demonstrate using the automatic setting to respond to interference. Looking at these two transmitters on the inventory list, we will create interference by tuning them to the same frequency. In this example, the Spectrum Manager automatically resolved the interference by deploying a clear, compatible frequency to the receiver. Next, we will demonstrate using the prompt setting to respond to interference without a Spectrum Manager on the network. Because we have a compatible frequency list but no Spectrum Manager, we will use the Manual Select option to switch to a new frequency. Available backup frequencies are listed in the Backups tab. Select the frequency you want to deploy and then select Switch Frequency. The new frequency is deployed to the device and the interference is resolved. This concludes our demonstration of interference detection and avoidance using the wireless workbench system with AXT400 receivers. Stay tuned for more instructional videos explaining other key features of Wireless Workbench 6.